The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences has announced the 20 films that are in the running for the Best Visual Effects Oscar at the upcoming 88th Academy Awards. The Academy's Visual Effects Branch Executive Committee determined the preliminary shortlist, which has a maximum of 20 films, which must then later be narrowed down to 10 before the final list of nominees are announced. The list of 20 films that made the first cut are Ant-Man, Avengers Age of Ultron, Bridge of Spies, Chappie, Everest, Ex Machina, Furious 7, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, In the Heart of the Sea, Jupiter Ascending, Jurassic World, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, The Revenant, Spectre, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Terminator Genesis, Tomorrowland, and The Walk. Schnapp, of these films, which one do you think have a legitimate shot ultimately making the final nominee list? Well, see, it's quite an impressive list of movies that came out this year. <laughs> I was like, wow, all these movies came out this year. It's pretty fantastic. I would say definitely Avengers Age Voltron, um, Jupiter Ascending, Mad Max, The Martian, Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Uh, that's five right there. Then it starts to get a little weird. I'd say Ex Machina. I would probably say Jurassic World. I would add Terminator Genesis, uh, Tomorrowland, and probably for my last pick, Rogue Nation. All right, I'm going to go. The ones that I think that are going to, and you're, there are a great list of stuff here. I'm going to go with Avengers Age of Ultron, Chappie. Because remember, this is this is about the best visual effects. This is not about the best movie, uh, and the visual effects in Chappie were jaw-droppingly photorealistic. Yeah, they, were, they, they were incredible. Yeah. So I'm going to Avengers, uh, Chappie, <coughs> uh, Ex Machina. Not a ton of visual effects in the movie, but yeah, really well done. seamless, totally seamless. I'm also going to go with Jurassic World, despite the bombastic nature of it. I never found myself watching Jurassic World and ever thinking out of all those visual effects shots I saw that that doesn't look real. I never caught myself saying that once. I was really impressed with it. And, um, okay, there be a little bit of bias here, but I just got to believe because it's ILM, Star Wars The Force Awakens uh, will be in that. So the five that I think are ultimately going to be nominated are Avengers Age of Ultron, Chappie, Ex Machina, Jurassic World, and Star Wars Force Awakens. Christian, what do you think are going to be the five nominees? I think The Force Awakens for sure. I think The Martian. Um, will absolutely be nominated. Uh, Jurassic World, I agree with you, will be in there. I think Mad Max will be nominated. So is, that, is that four? And then the, the last one, I would say, I mean, I'd like to see Everest because the, the special effects they are were cr- very they were so good. good, but I don't think so. Um, so I'd probably say for the last one, hmm, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to go on, uh, say The Walk. I think that the second they half did a of great the walk, job. Really, what, the second half of the walk yeah, to me. The walk was bad special effects. The second half of it. So? Yeah. I thought, oh, I thought the it looked half. beautiful. It looked, everything looked fake to me. Yeah, really? I see. I thought the beginning no, of it was experience. too, but I thought the second was pretty great. So there it's, you go. It's, it's a, five. Ten, a list of ten, though. That's what it says, not five. Oh, is it ten? Yeah. No, no. For the, for, no, the next round will be ten. They're going to take it down oh, from it twenty, to... and then it'll be down to the final oh, nominees, wow. okay. which will be five. So there's going to be like a cutting process. That's yeah. pretty rough. That's a big good list. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.